All right, so here we are. Took me about 15 minutes to get the old Jeepster in here, but I got her in with the tractor. So I lined these things up back wheel to back wheel the best I pretty much could. So if you look at that line on the pavement, yeah, you like this? This is redneck measuring, okay? So if you line the two back wheels up, gives you an ish. All right, so where we're gonna be here. So believe it or not, the overhang from the back of the truck or from the ba from the back of the wheel to the back of the bumper is damn near identical between both of these vehicles. All right, so I thought I was going to have to shorten the frame on the back of the truck, but no. All right, so then we're going to go over here. I don't know if we're going to get a good angle because I have not a whole lot of room in here. Uh, can I get in here? Yeah, this isn't really going to work, I guess. All right, so we'll look at more lines on the, on the floor here. So, if you look at the front wheel, so this front wheel here, and there. So, there is a few inches. All right, so then, remember what I was talking about earlier about the whole door opening thing? Uh, so, we're going to look at the line on the floor. Here. Front of the door. We're going to go all the way across. And see where that's leading? Right to the front edge of that seat like damn near right to the front edge so this is why i was talking about we might have to extend this body in this jeepster which kind of sucks because i thought i was going to have to lengthen it more pretty much for a lot of the reason so so the the wheel gaps here would look okay all right you know what i mean so i didn't want some huge you know foot long gap between the the wheel and the fender that's not really going to be the case so much but we are back to the dilemma with the doors now i've got the seat in this truck pretty much where i want it i mean i probably could go back a touch but i do want to be comfortable let me see here i got so much crap in this truck right now so that's the seat all the way back i mean i could i guess i could roll with that but if somebody shorter wanted to drive this contraption, it might be an issue. I don't know. But still, the front of that door to the front of that seat is damn near. We're just going to follow the line. We're going to follow the line. Bam. Right to the... So when you go to get in this thing, you're not going to get... You're not going to get your foot in. You get where I'm going? So, damn. These do doors do open up a mile, which is nice. The other door isn't opening for some reason. This door's shutting pretty hard because the whole body is just falling apart. I was hoping to get out of this without cutting it up. We're, we're going to have to cut it up. We are definitely going to have to cut this thing up. This is what would be nice. Well, that won't work either. I was thinking trying to move this door forward. But with the windshield and every, the way everything's lined up, it would be hard to make this door opening more forward. And then you're going to have a huge really long quarter panel area here so i think i am gonna have to i'm gonna have to lock this body right here right in the middle of the rocker right across the floor and we're gonna have to shove this front half of the vehicle forward at least enough to where i can get in it and get my foot in it okay y'all in there I mean, it needs extensive work down here anyway. I mean, the work doesn't scare me. I just, I really don't want to cut these doors, but 
I mean, there's no windows in them. It's a basic door. You don't get any more basic. It's got a cardboard, you know, door card in it. You know, the latches, you know, once I, I take these off, it's probably just a rod. We could extend that rod. And I'll just literally, I'll take the door and I'll take the sawzall and cut the son of a bitch right down the middle. Cut through the rod and everything. We'll extend it to wherever we need to go. I'll re-weld the rod. And then we're going to have to obviously get everything so it's going to line up and these doors will actually shut. <sighs> yeah, I'm chooching. I'm chooching. But I think the fuel, you know, obviously the fuel's on the opposite side, but who cares? I'll cut a hole in the quarter panel. Like that'll probably line up damn near right there. Or I could just lop a hole in the other side for the filler. Like who cares? This thing is going to be like a little rat rodish drive around town, take the dogs for a ride. Let my kid drive it around the lawn. That's what it's gonna be. It's not gonna be a show car. I'm not. I don't. I don't even plan on painting it. Like I really don't. I mean, maybe eventually, but for this year, no. Nah. I got too many other projects to do. We got to get this building built here so we could bring the hack and pack shop here and give you guys like just a live feed right from the ceiling. That would be cool. All right. I want your opinions. And that's another thing that's going to drive me nuts, too. As you see, the front of the wheels here, pretty much kind of evenish with the grill. This is going to be another problem. And then look at the front of the wheel to the reed eater in this vehicle. So we're going to have to figure that out as well. I don't know if I can run this truck without a fan probably not but if i could tuck that radiator as close as i can to that engine maybe we could stick a pusher fan in between the radiator and the, the grill like right in this little cubby one that'll push the air in we definitely don't want overheating issues so that's going to be another thing that's just going to drive me nuts is it's not it's not going to look symmetrical up front. That looks very nice and symmetrical. This, I mean, that radiator is is got to be. Well, the front of that core support's a good. I'd say almost a foot in front of that wheel. Now that core support can go. I just left it on there so we can keep the vehicle mobile. Um, and I can make radiator brackets. It's no big deal. I mean, and I can cut this cut a lot of this out so we can get the radiator to to go in here i don't know want your opinion guys this is where the thinking begins anybody can cut a truck up anybody can do that but this is where the real redneck ingenuity comes into play and i think this is a five lug i think i said before it might have been a six i think the two-wheel drives canyons colorados are five I guess I could pop a center cap. It'd be cool to roll with like some big old white walls like that. These tires I can't use because I think they're all dry rotted. But <clears throat> I don't know. All right. Let the opinions fly. I want your comments. All right. We're out. Off. Oh.